Hello Info person, this is Anton, and in this video we're going to discuss a somewhat intriguing discovery, or I guess technically a somewhat intriguing creation, coming out of a Chinese university where researchers were able to create infrared lenses, or technically something that allows humans to perceive infrared light as if it was optical emissions, even allowing humans to perceive different colors. And though obviously seeing infrared with, for example, infrared cameras is already achievable, in this case the main achievement is that we basically require absolutely no cameras, no batteries, nothing. You just take a contact lens, put it in your eye, and you're suddenly able to see infrared. And so let's talk about this study in a little bit more detail, starting with the study itself. A study by Yu Chan Ma and the team you see right here from the University of Science and Technology of China. And so what exactly was this for? And I guess, why did the scientists try to create this to begin with? Well, the main idea here is to remove the limitations of mammalian vision. Because when it comes to light perception, most mammals still have a very limited perception when it comes to different wavelengths. Pretty much most mammals can only perceive a relatively small fraction of the visible light, mostly between 400 and 700 nanometers in wavelengths. But over half of solar radiation is also in the infrared emissions and specifically over 700 nanometers in wavelength, that's completely imperceptible to most complex life. And though some animals are able to see it to some extent, none of the mammals can. Now obviously we can sense it with our skin, because that's basically just heat, but when it comes to our eyes, there is definitely a major limitation. Yet we know that other animals, like for example reptiles, and especially snakes, seem to be able to perceive infrared, because it obviously helps them detect animals at night. All warm-blooded animals emit a lot of infrared radiation, basically making all warm-blooded animals light up in the infrared. But in case of mammalian eyes, because of the properties of opsins or the photodetecting cells inside our eyes, it's just impossible by nature. And so as a result, we always kind of relied on additional technology. For example, night vision goggles or infrared goggles that are able to actively convert infrared emissions into something that's more visible. But in the past, researchers actually experimented with mice to try to do something a little bit different. They tried to give mice natural infrared perception by modifying their retina. And in this case, this was achieved by injecting the retina of mice with very specific nanoparticles containing a bunch of rare metals, such as for example ytterbium and erbium, that naturally diffract the light in such a way that it changes wavelengths. But although this is possible in mice, this is naturally not so easy for humans, mostly because not everyone is going to be okay injecting their eyes with some kind of a nanoparticle. And so as a result, for the past 5-6 to six years, the same team tried to figure out if they can actually turn this into a contact lens. Specifically by building a very small polymer that can then be injected into a typical lens and then provide infrared vision by just inserting it into your eye. Which is exactly what they were doing for the past few years, and which is exactly what this whole study is about, because they finally succeeded. By using very similar nanoparticles containing ytterbium and erbium, and by combining this with a bunch of polymers to create soft lenses, they were able to create the first successful prototype. But the first one was actually for mice, not for humans. Mostly because it was not clear if it's going to be safe. And here these contact lenses were specifically designed by integrating upconversion nanoparticles, also known as UCNPs, into very soft, non-invasive and wearable polymeric materials, very similar to what we usually have inside a contact lens. But the material had to have a very specific refractive index in order to work correctly with the infrared light. And so the main challenge in this case was to try to pack enough of these nanoparticles in order to convert sufficient infrared light without altering the lenses and without making them too opaque or basically in order to maintain their transparency. And well eventually, after a lot of trial and error, it looks like they succeeded. They found the right composition and the right density to create something with the correct refractive index that would then in theory convert infrared into optical emissions. But what's even more impressive in this case is that they were able to design it in such a way that they were able to convert three separate wavelengths of infrared into three separate wavelengths of optical light corresponding to different colors. Or just to rephrase this, they were able to convert infrared light into color vision. Something that's never really been achieved with anything before and something that's even difficult with a typical infrared camera. But once this was created, it now had to be tested. 
And as always, the first test was with mice. And here, right away, mice could sense the visible light and easily distinguish near-infrared information, even though other mice without the lenses could not perceive anything. And so here, by performing several experiments by using the infrared light and regular light, researchers definitively established that mice could now perceive all of the infrared emissions. But here, a much more important test was the test of safety. Was this actually safe? Because here, the main goal was to create a polymeric nanocomposite that was suitable for human eyes. And while all of the tests in mice suggested that there was no risk for cornea or for any eye damage, and there was no inflammation reported in any of the groups, which meant that the next test had to be done in humans. Now here I could not actually find any information on who they used, but this could be just the result of the privacy clause in most studies. Either way, by synthesizing the same nanoparticles and by creating the same lenses, they now try to do the same with human participants. And just like with mice, humans could now perceive infrared emissions coming from a very small infrared light. For example, in most cases, any kind of a infrared blinking, like the Morse code, was instantly seen by a person wearing the lenses and was not seen by anyone without them. Moreover, humans were also able to see a kind of a trichromatic infrared light, basically visible as three separate colors, blue, red, and green. And so here, the infrared light was directly converted into three primary colors visible by the participants. And to be more exact, the wavelength of 800 to 1600 nanometers in range was now converted to green, red, and blue. Which was basically a definitive proof that it's possible for humans to perceive infrared emissions without any invasive procedures and without any equipment. But surprisingly, something else happened when these humans closed their eyes. With eyes closed, obviously nobody could see anything in the optical light. But turns out the infrared perception increased dramatically. And that's because the optical emissions were no longer visible, and so now only the infrared could be perceived by human eyes. And also because the eyelids are actually transparent to the infrared. And so as a result, with eyes closed, all of the near-infrared emissions became extremely visible. Something that was also previously seen in mice as well. Which by itself is, I guess, kind of cool. But the next question is, so is this useful at all? And are there any actual practical applications? Well, first of all, because in this case, this didn't seem to affect the normal vision at all. These lenses seem to function just like your typical contact lens. But in this case, it also provides additional near-infrared color vision. Which means that there might be some use for situations where infrared emissions are the only way for us to see. So, for example, in poor visibility conditions, such as where there is a lot of fog, and by combining this with a lot of different smart devices, such as the ones emitting infrared, it might become possible for humans to navigate just by wearing these contact lenses. Now, I guess one example here would be something like a pilot, for example, that can maybe see through fog as long as there are infrared emissions somewhere on the ground. Or maybe navigating in very dark conditions, such as in collapsed mines or in caves, where there's basically no other way to see. Likewise, maybe this could be used by doctors. For example, performing surgery without using any sensors by directly seeing inside the body because the human body emits infrared. Or one of the propositions in the study suggests using this as a kind of an anti-counterfeit mark. Basically, by putting a mark that's only visible in the infrared, it might be possible to use this as some kind of an identification. But that's based on this study. Scientific critics, though, don't actually agree, with many pointing out that this is still an extremely early prototype and is unlikely to be useful at all. For example, first of all, currently these lenses cannot actually achieve fine image perception, mostly because of the optical principles used. And so basically everything here will just appear blurry. And that's because these nanoparticles scatter light in such a way that they can only create very blurry images. Right now, because of the optical principles, this is going to be very difficult to fix. And though it might be partially corrected by, for example, using glasses along with the lenses, all of this is still an extremely early prototype. Moreover, unlike typical night vision goggles, these lenses do not amplify light. And so they can technically only see intense infrared emissions, such as what they were actually able to observe in this experiment. Only relatively bright infrared emissions could be detected. And so something that's much dimmer, such as for example some kind of a sensor farther away, will actually still be invisible. And so once again, those pilots using the infrared contact lenses might actually still find this very difficult 
because in natural conditions, at night, and without some kind of infrared illumination, this technology might still not work. And so the critics of the study basically conclude that this is cool, it's definitely something creative, but might not be super useful. Or at least more useful than just using typical infrared goggles. But in this case, this team plans to continue their work and wants to put even more nanoparticles into lenses in order to create even more efficient conversion and in order to increase sensitivity. With the other goal being making this even cheaper than it is right now. Currently, a pair of lenses like this would cost approximately 200 US, which though expensive, is definitely cheaper than your typical infrared goggles. But once this technique is perfected, they might be actually much much cheaper, basically costing like 10 bucks or so, for what could one day become some really intriguing, somewhat unusual way to perceive the world around us. But until someone else discovers something else that's I guess more intriguing or more practical, for now this is just a really cool creation. We'll definitely come back and talk more about this in some of the future videos, so you know, subscribe and stuff. But until then, thank you for watching, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support the channel on Patreon that contains a lot of videos you might have not seen previously, and videos without any ads, or maybe join the channel membership to see even more videos and videos posted in advance. Until then, thank you for watching, stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.